guys, we're back at it again. Got another camp to give you a tour of, kind of show you some of the neat features of it. It's a unique layout that I think is going to appeal to a lot of you guys. So anyways, we'll go ahead and get walking. I'm going to run you through the exterior just real briefly. Um, as you can see, this one, he's done the awning on it. It does have the heated tank, so it has the heating elements as well as um, duct work running from our furnace into there to keep those tanks from freezing. It does have the pull-out camshaft in there. So a couple different add-ons that they've added to their camp. Other than that, I mean, it's got the air conditioner with the soft start in it wired for extra solar but aside from that it's pretty standard on the exterior of it but let's go ahead and go inside so i'm going to as we walk into this i'm just going to tell you what their colors are before we go too far in the camp otherwise i'll forget what they are so the countertops in this one are a sedona trail the floor color is a heritage buckskin. Cabinets are a Brazil wood. You've seen them in several of our camps. Really popular color. And then the walls are a fusion maple. So overall makes for a nice, nice camp. The um, recliners, they're a darker color. Um, it's called an Allegro. And then a briar wood with the cushions. So anyways, yeah, that's the colors that we've got. So... But as you can see, kind of standard, big closet. Um, this one does have all the lighted cabinets. So lights in all the cabinets, which makes it nice when, you know, grabbing stuff out. That can, might help you a little bit, see a little better. But we'll go ahead and walk in and I'll close this door and then you won't get the rub noise. So yeah, Brazil wood cabinets. Big closet, your closet rod, but like I say, they've got lights in all the cabinets and they're just on a switch. And then you have your standard big fridge freezer combo, stainless, two way fridge, um, gas and propane. Then your stainless steel microwave above it, a little storage above it. And then you have two pull out pantries in this one. So this one is split where you have bigger sections in it. And then this lower one set up to where it's got some smaller divided up sections in it. But really nice for storing goods. And then something kind of unique about this, well, maybe I'll start here. So this one has the Bogart uh, monitoring system. It does have their solar control too. This gives you a lot of versatility. It's kind of complex to where, I mean, if you're not real sure about it. I don't know that it'd be a great option for you, but it'll give you readouts such as your battery voltage, um, your amps, how many amps we're drawing off it right now. So we're about 5.1 amps is what we're pulling out of it. 81% full, that's your battery voltage. And then you can go through a number of different things um, as far as when the last time it was charged, how much solar you're utilizing, bunch of different things but like I say it's probably a little more complex than most people would want um, there's there's a lot to be said for sl simplicity and you know the a lot of the controllers and stuff that we use that's exactly what they are they're simple they do what they're supposed to do and you don't have to worry about it so propane gas light monitoring system for your tanks as well as your battery switches for heated tanks your water heater switch this one does have the inverter in it so they're able to run all their ac power outlets just off of their batteries so they can run the toaster blow dryer tv whatever it is they want to um, run and then this one has usb ports all throughout it so really nice for charging your phones things of that nature so Stainless steel range hood, blacked out range. And then this one has a cutting board, pull out cutting board with a set of drawers below. 
This bottom one's actually a door, so you can store stuff under there. And you've got your converter, outlet, um, vent for your furnace. Then your recliners. Now this is where the layout's going to vary. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen our recliner models and you're like, I love the recliners, but I also like the traditional layout. Well, this layout incorporates both. So they still have a pull-out trundle bed. They still have the benches as well as the pull-out kitchen table. But they incorporated the recliners into it to where they could have the best of both worlds, I guess. And to me, this turned out super. I mean, it's it's not lacking anything as far as room. Um, your benches are a little bit shorter than what they would in a traditional layout. But it still allows for almost a full-size mattress um, in that trundle bed. And so this one's set up with a twin. And then they've got a bunch of storage to where they can store both at the foot of the bed as well as behind the bed. And then we have a pillow top queen up top. Your bookshelf. This does have the forced air furnace in it. So you have your thermostat. This also has the fantastic fan as well. So, And then, yeah, these are false cubbies. So, but that pulls out. Your kitchen table pulls out. USB ports in your headboard. There's USB ports up top. Um, AC plugs, antenna, hookups. And then also another spot for a 12 volt TV there if they were to locate one there. And then they've got a chest of drawers here and their TV is set up to where it can pivot. So this is on a swivel to where they can watch it from wherever they wanna watch it in the camp. Um, this is kind of a nice central location just because if they're sitting on the recliners, the benches, or if they're laying in bed, everybody can see it. So kind of nice that they can kind of position it where they want to position it. Wood burning stove, which is a must. And then your nice little kitchen area where you've got your banks of drawers and then lots of storage below your sink. Stainless steel double sink. And then lots of overhead counter space. And then we'll go into the bathroom. Medicine cabinet. Vanity. This one does have the USB ports here too, as well as an AC plug. Porcelain toilet. And then stainless steel glass surround. And your frosted window as well as your exhaust vent which comes in super handy um, especially as tight as these caps are sealed up you find that as you're showering in there you do get a lot of condensation so to be able to turn that fan on and pull that out is super nice so anyways yeah hope you guys like this layout i think it's turned out super like i say it kind of incorporates a lot of our different models to where, yeah, this one kind of incorporates the traditional layout with some of the more modern layouts. So I hope that you've enjoyed it. I do have another camp that I'll try and get uploaded here probably in the next couple days, if not a week, that's a unique layout as well. And I think that you'll really like it. It's a little more compact camp, but you, you wouldn't be able to tell walking in. The floor plan they chose is, is super roomy, and I think that it works way good. So, anyways, if you haven't liked, subscribe to the channel. Please do so. Share the videos. Helps us a lot. Thanks for watching.